Allen Iverson was born in Hampton, Virginia on June 7, 1975 to a single 15-year-old mother, Ann Iverson, and was given his mother's maiden name after his father, Allen Broughton, left her. He attended Bethel High School, where he started as quarterback for the school football team while also playing running back, kick returner, and defensive back. He also started at point guard for the school basketball team. During his junior year, Iverson was able to lead both teams to the Virginia State Football and Basketball Championships and earned the AP High School Player of the Year award in both sports. This dude was Michael Jordan, Peyton Manning, Emmett Smith, mixed with Deion Sanders. Wow! On February 14, 1993, Iverson and several of his friends were involved in an altercation with several other patrons at a bowling alley in Hampton, Virginia. During the fight, Iverson allegedly struck a woman in the head with a chair. He and three of his friends who were also black were the only people arrested. Iverson, who was 17 at the time, was convicted as an adult of the felony charge of maiming by mob, a rarely used Virginia statute that was designed to combat lynching. After Iverson spent four months at Newport News City Farm, a correctional facility in Newport News, he was granted clemency by the Virginia Governor Douglas Wilder, and the Court of Appeals eventually overturned the conviction in 1995 for insufficient evidence. Of his time in prison, Iverson said, I had to use the whole jail situation as something positive. Going to jail, someone sees something weak in you, they'll exploit it. I never showed any weakness, I just kept going strong until I came out. The prison sentence forced him to complete his senior year of high school at Richmond Milburn High School, a school for at-risk students, instead of competing in sports at Bethel. However, the three years Iverson spent at Bethel were enough to convince Georgetown University head coach John Thompson to come out and meet Iverson and offer him a full scholarship to join the Georgetown Hoyas basketball team. Career in his first season at Georgetown, Iverson won the Big East Rookie of the Year and then declared for the NBA draft. Iverson was selected number one overall by the Philadelphia 76ers in 1996. During 10 seasons with the Sixers, he averaged 27.6 points and 6 assists per game. Iverson led the team to the finals and was the MVP that same year. Allen also played with the Denver Nuggets for two years. He then did brief stints with the Detroit Pistons and the Memphis Grizzlies before returning to the 76ers for one year. During his NBA career, he led the league in scoring four times and holds the record for second highest per game scoring average behind Michael Jordan. He is an 11-time All-Star, three-time steals leader, and seven All-NBA selections. In 2016, he was elected to the Naismith Hall of Fame. What an incredible basketball career. Now we know a little about Iverson's b-ball career, let's get into how he makes that stash. Contract. As an NBA player, Allen Iverson made $154 million in salary alone. AI's rookie contract was for three years and $9 million. Iverson made $2.3 million during his rookie season while averaging 23.5 points and 7.5 assists. He easily won the Rookie of the Year award. His highest career contracts included a $71 million six-year deal in 1999 and a $77 million four-year deal in 2003. His peak earnings year was when he was paid a staggering $21 million by the Detroit Pistons in 2009. Talk about getting that paper. Endorsements. Besides his salaries, AI also earned much moolah through various endorsements, the most notable his deal with Reebok. The American sports and apparel firm endorsed Iverson as soon as he entered the NBA. The two agreed to a 10-year $50 million deal. Later on, Reebok gave Iverson a lifetime deal after the Philadelphia 76ers legend won the league MVP in the 2001 season. AI was a fashion icon as he was the first hip-hop basketball player that tied the two cultures together. Everyone in hip-hop was wearing basketball gear and the players were wearing clothes that matched the streets. AI changed the sneaker game with his sneaker line. The Reebok Question Mid were worn when he crossed up Michael Jordan, and the Answer 4s were worn during the classic final step over Tyron Lue shot. These iconic moments made his shoes and Reebok's profits go sky high. According to various sources, the deal includes paying Iverson $800,000 a year. It also includes a $32 million trust fund that Iverson can access when he turns 55 in 2030. However, Iverson would only gain half of the amount as his ex-wife Tawana holds the rights to the other half according to their divorce. His other endorsements include Stance Socks and T-Mobile. So, Allen Iverson has a net worth of... 
Wait, you don't want to miss this one. Now, let's see how the answer spends his millions. Cars. Iverson has had so many cars in his heyday. Here are some that we know about. Black Maybach 57S, a Lamborghini Murcielago that was once impounded for not being registered. Hummer H1, Cadillac Escalade and Rolls Royce. Due to financial issues, most of these cars are no longer in his possession. There is also an epic story when Larry Hughes was just getting into the league. Larry saw Iverson's Bentley. He said, yo, AI, I have to get me one of these. Iverson didn't hesitate and said, bro, you can have mine. Allen has never seen anyone so grateful. His most famous car is his white Bentley GT. This smooth luxury beauty has over 600 horsepower and costs a whopping $250,000. Talk about driving to the lane. Houses. Iverson is a Philly legend. He lived up to it on the court and off. He has a house in Gladwin, Pennsylvania. This estate is 8,000 square feet with six bedrooms. It has a billiards room, wine cellar, and home theater. This was the legendary hideout home when he and his wife got into an argument. Allen allegedly broke into a West Philly apartment and brandished a gun. He hunkered down in this house as reporters waited outside for days. AI bought this house for $2.3 million and eventually sold the house to baseball player Chase Utley, who was with the Phillies, for $2.8 million, a profit of about $500,000. Chase has remodeled the place and it now looks more contemporary. Iverson has a pad in the Atlanta area. His home is in Alpharetta and is in a gorgeous community with tons of stuff to do in a quiet suburban area. The house has seven bedrooms and seven and a half baths. Moreover, it features a pool and hot tub and a great outdoor patio space. The backyard has great views of the area as well. Iverson had the house built and made an interesting modification when he converted a whole bedroom into a closet that could fit hundreds of sneakers. He paid $4.5 million for the house, which ended up going to foreclosure and was auctioned off for $2.5 million, a $2 million loss. Allen is now reported to be living in Charlotte. AI did not have all the answers with houses, as he also fell into foreclosures with houses in Denver and Villanova. There are lots of stories of Iverson gambling, drinking too much alcohol, going to strip clubs, and spending way too much money. This is a lesson about living too much of a flashy lifestyle. Let's hope Iverson can recover. Charity. Allen lives a life of luxury, but is also involved in charity work. The Answer, along with a host of former NBA players and the And One Mixtape stars, hosted the All In Basketball game, which hopes to raise funds for homeless people in the country. He offered to volunteer his basketball skills not as a player, but debuting his coaching abilities to American and Asian street players. Talk about a heart of gold. Love Life Iverson started dating his high school sweetheart, Tawana Turner, when they were 16 and they married early in his career. They have five children, Tiora, Alan II, Isaiah, Messiah, and Dream. Due to Iverson's fast and crazy lifestyle, Tawana Iverson filed for divorce twice. The divorce was finalized in 2013 and Tawana walked away with a $3 million settlement. But these two actually got back together almost immediately after the dust settled. While it's unclear if Allen and Tawana ever remarry, they are still very much a couple. Ever since retirement, the couple has been focused on raising their children and rebuilding and the answer seems a lot more settled. During his Hall of Fame speech, AI paid huge tributes to Tawana. My number one person in the world, hands down, Tawana Iverson, he said. 24 years, ups, downs, but real love. Thank you for loving me the way you do and caring about the type of person I am and what type of person I need to be to set an example for our babies. You are a Hall of Famer. Real quick, we just want to give a shout out to Mecca Cameron for suggesting this video. If you leave us a comment or suggestion, you will be eligible to win a shout out from us at Big Time Hoops. Net worth. Now is the time you've all been waiting for. How much is Allen Iverson's net worth? Before that, we just want to say that sometimes we get heat for saying a player's net worth is too low. Just because you made a million doesn't necessarily mean you're worth a million. Many players live way above their means. Of course, over Allen Iverson's life, he earned over $200 million. His lavish lifestyle was followed by financial woes after retirement. And now with everything going on in Iverson's life, he has a net worth of $1 million. 
Remember, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Reebok set aside that $32 million trust fund that Allen and Tawana will not be able to access until he's 55 in the year 2030. Hopefully things get much more comfortable by then.